<laughs> yeah, we're thrilled to still be in the event. Um, thought we executed uh, our game plan pretty well last night and, um, you know, one step closer to our ultimate goal of winning the championship. All right, we're opening up for questioning, starting with Vinny Lopes. Uh, yeah, I have a question for you. You um, obviously you played against BYU last year. I want to ask you, though, as a setter, how do you feel your game has improved since that last meeting against the Cougars? Yeah, so since last year, um, right after I got back home, I was determined to become to come back even better than how I left uh, that year. And I think from then, I just get a lot of confidence in my game. I gain more trust with the attackers, and we just work really hard together. So I think that has been an overall improvement. Up next, Rob DeMello. Yeah, staying on that uh, that theme of having played BYU last year, and if I could ask if Charlie and Colton can both answer this, um, does it feel like this was written in the stars a little bit because of the way the season ended with you two splitting a series, being one and two last year and this year, back and forth, and, and kind of just being on this collision course? Does it feel poetic in a way that the tiebreaker uh, after that, 2020 series comes down to a national title on the line? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's been pretty obvious that we've been the best two teams for the last two years. So uh, it is fitting that we're, we're getting a chance to play again for the championship. Um, you know, I think I don't think either program would have taken for granted to get this far because there's so many good teams. Um, but like you said, I think we've been the two best in it. Um, you know, it's uh, nice that we're going to get a chance to play each other for the title. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. we're uh, we're really, really proud of our guys this year and uh, our performance. And I think that BYU is a very talented team. And I think deep down we were aware that when it came down to these final matches, there's a high likelihood that we end up playing them. And I think we're really excited to uh, to test ourselves against them once more. Up next, Jay Drew. Yeah, for either of the student athletes, um, Saturday night they'll only hand out one trophy. But in a way, does it feel like it should be two because of what happened last year? Will this kind of determine not only this year's champion, but last year's? Good question. I think Thanks. for sure that, um, yeah, this year we have to fight. and. Both of us are really good teams, and we all have worked really hard to play this championship game. So now it's just who can, who can battle hard and yeah, work hard and play together as a team. Yeah, I think that's, that's what it's going to come down to. Yeah. yeah, I think that was a great question. It's very difficult to determine whether or not um, this championship will be worth two, given the circumstances of COVID nineteen. I think that was a very rough year for all programs, and I feel that. Uh, Honestly, in terms of just this championship, we're just remaining in the present moment and focusing on this year and, and the success that we've had. And we're trying to just continue that for one more night. Up next, Jason Kaneshiro. Hey, Coach. Um, even though you, had, you only had a matches scheduled against Big West opponents up to this point, I mean, how closely were you watching BYU throughout the season in anticipation of a possible matchup here at the end yeah I mean I, I think um, I think all coaches watched more volleyball this year than in most because of the schedule and there wasn't the cross conference playing and and then there's just more availability right there's more streaming and more access to uh, to live matches so um, I mean both teams are pretty identical to where we played when we played last year so I think there's a high degree of fil familiarity with uh, on both sides. And I have one for Colton. I mean, I think you didn't get to play in that second uh, match with BYU last year. So is it kind of fitting for you to kind of get this opportunity and uh, to finish out your career this way against them? Yeah, it's, it's a very exciting opportunity. And um, honestly, I, I individually, it's, it's going to be great to step onto the floor against a really incredible opponent. Um, but I know that for this team in general, this is the position that we really want to be in. Um, we're entering in confident. We're really excited to, to play. Um, and I just think that 
we're going to be playing with a lot of passion and heart. And I think that's going to, that's going to drive us for, for tomorrow's matchup. Thank you. And the last two questions, starting with Vinny Lopes. Oops, sorry. Uh, question for both uh, Colton and Coach. You One of the matchups within the matchups uh, for this one is going to be Gabby serving and then Gage and Colton pa passing it. So I guess, uh, Coach, for you, can you just give us um, your thoughts kind of on that matchup and your passers? And then for Colton, ha how do you feel going up against uh, Gabby and his, and his serve, which is one of the best in college volleyball? Yeah, we've been a pretty good receiving team. These guys have, you know, can receive at a high level. And certainly Gabby has the potential to wreck matches. You know, that's really uh, a big part of their success, whether it's early or late in the set that he can go back and, and rattle a couple off. So I, he's, you know, he, he's always got your attention when he steps to the service line. Yeah, and fortunately, we'll also have uh, Chaz Galloway out there, so we won't have to play doubles um, receiving his serve. But um, on a serious note, uh, yeah, he's the best server in the country. Um, and in order to prepare for a serve like that, you have to – you can't ever be surprised when the ball's going to be coming um, however fast or if it's coming to you, you have to want the ball at all times. You have to want him to serve you so that you can maximize your level of engagement because you need to meet that serve – with a level of intensity and uh, precision. So it's going to be a great challenge. Um, I think regardless of how well he serves tomorrow, we're not going to back down no matter what. We're just going to focus on holding our line. All right, really the last two, uh, starting with Rob DeMello. Yeah, Colton, uh, you've been someone that, that has always worn your Hawaii pride on your sleeve uh, throughout your entire career at the University of Hawaii. And to be on the eve of the final match of your college career uh, with an opportunity to bring a national championship to the state of Hawaii, what does that mean to you? Uh, tomorrow is going to be the most important day of my life, and it will live, it will live with me uh, for the rest of my life, um, no matter the outcome. And I'm just really proud of this team. Um, we've been able to maintain such a high level for the past few years. And we've been in this position before. And I believe Rattle mentioned this in the press conference yesterday. Um, we know what it's like to be in a final. And we also know what it's like to lose that matchup. And I think we're going to go into it with um, um, just complete heart. You know, we know that the entire Warrior Nation in the state of Hawaii is supporting us. And I think we're just really excited to go um, go play and know that the instead Hawaii is behind us. Thank you. And final question belongs to Cindy Lewis. Thank you for letting me come in late. Um, Coach, where do you see that you folks have improved the most and BYU has uh, improved the most from when you saw them um, a year ago in March? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just the value of everybody being, you know, a year older and stronger and smarter. You know, I think, um, you know, that's a real advantage to have, uh, you know, guys have been playing in college for six years. <laughs> so, you know, they're adult men and it's, uh, they can play at a high level. So um, I think it'll be a great match. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys for joining us today and good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Thank Scott. Thank you. Thank you.